Hello again, everyone, and welcome. We want to welcome the new folks that just joined us, the David Lore, Ariel, TM, Mimi, NJ, Riz Sox, and others. We'll start promptly in just two minutes. Thank you again, and welcome, everyone. Our host and presenter today, Melissa Armo, CEO and lead trader at thesoxwish.com, is here with us. We'll be starting promptly in just two minutes. Two minutes start time. Thank you, and welcome, everyone. Hello everyone and welcome. With that, it is exactly 3 p.m. Eastern Time here in the Boston area. Please put your hands together and welcome. Thank you so much, Kevin, and welcome. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. Thanks so much, Online Trader Central, for having me today. Today, I'm going to discuss a topic that I'm sure is interested in everyone. That's why that you're here. Learning how to earn up to $20,000 a month trading in half an hour a day. And $20,000 a month is roughly a you know, quarter of a million dollars a year. And this is a very nice income, and particularly to work in a short period of time. So if you'd like more information, you can go to my website at www.thestockswish.com, or you can also email me at melissa at thestockswish.com as well. I do have a lot of videos on YouTube, and you can go to any one of these sites and follow me on there as well. So let's start out today. I, I really, you know, trading is one of these things where it's so important to be positive, and not only that, to be inspired. And I believe that I am inspiring people to trade well. No dream is too big. You just have to become the person the dream challenges you to be. This is a quote by Alita St. James, and it's really apropos in reference to trading. Because the idea of being a successful trader is not a dream that is too large. It is 100% realistic. However, it may challenge you to be more than you are today. That's an amazing thing. It's actually a positive thing. I myself have evolved so much in the last five and a half years since I've started trading. And I'm encouraging people to continue on their own path by teaching them the right information, which we're going to talk about today. So how can you earn up to $20,000 a month in the market? It sounds like it's too good to be true, and yet it is 100% realistic. Also, ask yourself, is it possible to make this kind of money in a half hour a day? And the answer is yes. There's a certain way to do it, a specific strategy that I trade, and we're going to talk about that today. So how? It's with trading one strategy. The strategy is gaps. I am a specialist in gaps. And I think to become successful in anything that you want to do in the market, the idea of specializing, of focusing one thing is very important. Not only do I focus on one strategy, which is gaps, I actually only do it in the one direction. I do shorts. I trade short trades. This gap that happened here, this was an SWK. This was back last week, was a short. It also continued down the next day. And this day it had a $5 move and even continued down here. The total move from the day of the gap to the low here was more than $6. And this is the kind of momentum the gaps can provide. And I focus on the short side of them. And also the momentum in gaps happens very quickly. And we're going to talk about that more. So how, what, and when? How do you make money in the market? You trade a strategy that is profitable. Now there are a lot of strategies out there that you can learn to do. Not all of them are highly profitable. Some are just so-so or okay. And actually, some flat out don't work. I think you really have to be very picky in the strategy you choose to trade. Professional gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they create large momentum to trade. And that's how you make money as a trader. What stocks should you trade? 
There's so many stocks in both exchanges. How do you know what to watch or do? Well, stocks that gap and rank 20 points or more per my Golden Gap 26-point rating system are the ones that I choose to pick to trade. I trade the gap in the direction of the gap. I am not doing gap fills. These are gaps in the direction that they are actually gapping. And when do you trade them? You trade them early in the morning on the open when they set up and trigger. So one strategy is all you need. One strategy. That's it. And I'm doing it in one direction. Either you could do both. But that's all you need to earn a good living in the market. And actually, this helps you stay focused to earn this kind of money. Because otherwise, you're all over the place doing a million different things and eating yourself up in commissions and fees. Playing professional gaps is a powerful strategy that offers the opportunity to earn up to $20,000 a month for individual traders. Traders can book profits with substantial gains in a timely fashion early in the morning. And this is important because you can do other things with your day then. You don't have to be chained to a computer for eight hours. You can make money to pay your bills, which everyone needs to do, live a full life, which means not working 80 hours a week, and work in less than an hour a day. Booking money in the market quickly reduces risk. It is exciting and it's fun. It's a lot of fun, actually, to trade when you're doing things that are working and moving and you're booking money. One quality strategy is all you need to pay yourself on a regular basis. And again, trading is about paying yourself on a regular basis because it's income generation. Booking it, booking it, booking it. So you got to have a strategy that you can replicate over and over and over for profits, and that will help change your trading world and open up your eyes. Having one powerful strategy that pays you will completely open up your eyes and change your perspective to the true potential profit of the market. The market can offer you a real lifelong career if you have a strategy that makes money consistently. Professional gaps are a strategy that can generate up to $20,000 or more a month in profits, and we will talk later about how much you need to risk to get to that point. Earning a high income is only one reason, however, to trade gaps. So let's take a look at the top 10 reasons it's a great idea to trade gaps, because there's other reasons to trade gaps too. Reason number one to trade gaps is fast profits. This is reason number one. This is actually one of my favorite reasons and things that I like to trade gaps. I do like to get green in the morning. My first trade of the day is my best. I like to make money as soon as I can. And then after that, if you take a second or third trade, you're not risking the money you have in your account as the base. You're risking the profits on the day. And you only risk a portion then of what you're up. So then you get green as quickly as you can. It also helps your confidence level, too, when you can do that. Reason number two to trade gaps, good risk to reward setups, meaning for every dollar that I risk, I'm looking to make $3 on the low end and up to $10 on the high end. If you're looking to risk and make one-to-one, -one, that's not enough. If you're looking to risk and make one-to-two, that's really not enough. You've got to learn to do something that has a good risk to reward, and gaps do. This is another reason to trade them. Another reason to trade gaps is you're booking money early in the morning. Now, it depends what time zone you're in, but I'm on the East Coast. And so, you know, at nine, between 9, 30, 10, 10, 15 is usually the time these things are moving. So you can get green early in the morning if you have to go on to something else of your day. If you want to go to the gym, you've got the rest of the day to yourself. It's actually a very convenient uh, type of time frame to have a job. And if you work on the West Coast, you really are done early. I mean, you could be done by as, as early as 8 a.m. and have the whole day to yourself. Reason number four to trade gaps are large profits. Because when gaps really want to work, they have potential to go to dream targets. And this is something that makes it exciting to trade. Now, not everything goes to dream targets. Maybe some things sometimes just go to what I call mini targets or the normal target. But there are days when gaps go way more and way bigger than I ever expect they will. And it's a great thing about trading this strategy. Because a lot of other strategies never even have the potential for things to have and go to even dream targets. Reason number five to trade gaps is momentum. Momentum is a great reason to trade gaps. Here's the setup in the SWK. Gap down in the morning the night before was up here at 89.50. Open here the next morning, never went over $80. Set up, dropped, and this momentum in this trade down here to the low was a almost a $5 move. Almost a $5 move all the way down here. It booped up and bounced off of $75.50 and the high is $80. This is momentum. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you can do to make money and to trade. And so tonight when we're done uh, with, the, with the class here, 
If anybody wants to stay, Online Trader Central is going to boop everybody over to my live trading room and we're going to look at some earnings that are out tonight at 4 o'clock if anyone wants to stay to do that. Uh, there's a lot of earnings with some big names out at 4 and I have my favorites picked and we can watch them as they actually gap because you don't see the gap here. This is when the market closes and this is in the open at 9.30. Tonight you'll see these things gapping. We can look at it live when we're done. Reason number six to trade gaps is long-term trading. Long-term trading, meaning you could do something where you just want to invest money for retirement. You don't have to do it for income if you have a job you like and want to stick with it, fine, but you could learn how to trade and actually trade doing swing trades, core trades, or trade a couple days a week as a day trader to make money to save for retirement. A lot of people don't have the same pensions as they used to. Times have changed, and some people are running out of money for the retirement. Why? Because people are living longer. And that's a wonderful thing, but you do have to provide for yourself into the future. Reason number seven to trade gaps is you work for yourself from home. I actually love this idea. I don't think I could ever work for anyone again. Uh, I love the idea of working for myself. Uh, I really think it's the best thing to do. You have complete and 100% freedom with your choices. You do have to be responsible. But, you know, if you believe in yourself and know you can do it and are a responsible person, this works. Uh, it's a lot better than having to report to someone, ask for time off, things like that. And it's very comfortable working from home because you don't have to worry about commuting and all those kinds of things. Reason number eight to trade gaps is that institutions trade gaps. This is a chart clip of Facebook. Facebook gapped up here back in July and had an incredible rally all the way up. Got to every single number all the way up, 42, 45, hit over 50, and it's gotten to every target and the dream target in this, in this stock if you were in this as a long. What made this move? What made this gap? Institutions, hedge funds, banks, they're buying the stock. It was down here around 29 and gapped up here to 33.50 the day of the earnings, the day of the gap, and had a beautiful rally and is up more than $20. And this is just in July. So this is just in a, a short three month period, the stock has moved 20 bucks. What makes something go like this? Institutions who are buying gaps or selling out of gaps to the downside. Reason number nine to trade gaps, personal freedom. Could go on a vacation when you want, do what you want, be in charge of yourself. And this is the way to go in today's society and in today's world. There's no such thing as job security. If you work for yourself, if you're responsible for yourself and you have more job security than if you're working for someone else because it doesn't matter if you do a great job. Something might happen in the company that's completely out of your control. And then what do you do? At least when you work for yourself, you're in charge of your own choices. You're in charge of the stocks you trade. I pick the stocks that I trade every day when I rate them with my system, no one else. And I choose to take the size I take in my stock, no one else. Reason number 10 to trade gaps. It's a strategy that can pay you income for a living. It's like you go into the bank and you take money out and you pay yourself from your trading account. And it can pay you for a living because you're looking to go into the market every day and take money out. Some days you take a little, some days you take medium, some days you take a lot, some days you don't do anything. You go and you look at the market, there's no good gaps, they don't rate high enough, you don't do them. So golden gaps, which is how, what I trade, it's a system I use that I created, are qualified professional gaps. That's really, really what they are. People say, well, what is a professional gap? What do you mean, Melissa? I don't understand. A professional gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. Okay, no gap fills that doesn't work. It is called a professional gap because professional traders and investors are making and creating the gap. Simple. They're the ones that are making and creating the gap. So that's why they're called professional gaps and they are in the direction of the gap. In the case of a bullish gap, professionals are buying the stock. Therefore, the stock moves higher on the trading day. In the case of a bearish gap, professionals are selling and or shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower on the trading day. I starred this. I triple starred this because this is why I prefer bearish gaps. I have a pension for doing them. That's my thing. I love trading to the downside because gaps that gap down have two things happening to them to create the gap. Therefore, there's more potential for momentum, movement, and for me to get paid. So they have the double potential. Why? Because people are along the stock. And then the stock gaps down, they sell out of it. Also, people then are shorting the stock when it gets down too. There's two things. In the case of a bullish gap, the stocks are getting bought that makes the gap up. But it's very rare and unusual. 
in the case that there would be people that have shorted a stock like that, they'd be buying to cover. And the power on through wouldn't be as strong as to the downside. So I really love to do shorts. So let's look at some events here. What do I mean by professional gap? A bullish event was Google. Google last week gapped up here. This was Friday. Beautiful, perfect, amazing bullish gap. And rated high per my system, although I didn't trade it, because again, I like to do the short side. But this could have been bought on a beautiful setup on the one, the two, the five minute chart, or even the 15. And it seems like incredible or unbelievable because Google closed the night before, actually down here around 890 ish. But the stock gapped up here almost $100 and got immediate bought in the sky. And if you don't know how to read gaps, you think this is going to fill the gap because it's, you can't even fathom that a stock will gap up $100 and run like it did on the day and hold the bullishness. But that's exactly what happened and why? And how do I know? How can I see this gap and know that before it does what it does, it's going to go green on the day? Because I have a system where I would rate the gap. And I know this is a bullish event. And I know that this is real buying, power buying coming into the gap, coming into the stock, coming into the company. And that, therefore, it's going to hold. This is actually new buying that was created by that gap last week. Here's an example of a bearish event. Actually, we're going to look at Angie tonight. Angie has earnings tonight. This is one of these ones that gapped down in the last month. Angie gapped down here, held. This is a bearish event. And ran down here and it has had a beautiful continuation move all through the day of the gap. This is a bearish event. This is a short and professionals are shorting this and selling out of this to the to the long side. People that were long are selling out of the gap. So ultimately, who makes gaps? Like I was saying, large institutional money, they're the ones that are doing these events. They're making the events. Gaps are created with large institutional money and lots of it. That is what makes the gap. Okay, individual traders could never make a gap. If we all sat together and took the same trade and tried to push something, we wouldn't be able to do it. Professionals can though. They have a lot of money behind them. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and then confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. Gaps are an event and they create a sense of urgency. This is what I love about the short side. There's no sense of urgency for someone to rush out and buy Facebook. They think about it, they might buy it later, they think about it. There's a sense of urgency if you are up money, if you are long like SWK or Angie and you were up and now all of a sudden the stock got down and now you are not up anymore, you are down. You are down money, you got two choices, refund your trading account or take the trade off, take the hit, take the loss. Do you see here, if you would not have exited this trade on the gap, you would have lost another $4. Okay, so there's a sense of urgency to the downside and really in gaps, period. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. This is why it is so powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you are trading on the side of power and money. And that's how you as one person can make money in the market. And honestly, one quality strategy is all you need. And you can even just focus on in one direction, either you can do both. Gaps offer a payout with good risk to reward trades. There is no substitute. For learning. It, honestly, lots of people don't understand gaps and you really got to get them right. Knowing how and what to trade and when it makes a difference in your results. You'll see it. Gap trading is a lucrative method to use to get paid by the market and it can be done. I know because I'm doing it and I'm doing it for a long time here now. Trading is about generating income. Gap trading offers traders visible income production on a regular basis. If you want to trade for a living, then it's important to learn how to do something that you can replicate in the market over and over. You got to be able to do something that is there that you see, if not every day, at least a lot and um, at least four days a week. So if you've been looking to earn a high income, look no further. Golden gaps are a very profitable strategy to trade. So how do you find golden gaps? Well, first of all, you look for the gaps and we're going to do that tonight at four and then you rate them. That's what you have to do. And I use a system, it's called the Golden Gap Rating System. It is a 26-point checklist that I created. I made it up. I made it up over the course of three years while I was trading gaps, trying to hone it down, which ones were the good ones, picking the ones that worked, seeing the ones that followed through, and then the ones that were not good, that didn't work, that I X out. So if something rates over 20, I do it. If it doesn't, I don't trade it on the day. So the 26-point rating system measures 
gaps by rating them on the daily chart. Everything I'm doing is based on technical analysis. It is reading price and charts. And I am looking for a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. I'm also looking for a big move on the day. I also want early confirmation of the bias and the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. So let's go over some examples here. This was GPS. I did this, uh, this was about two weeks ago, I guess, back on the 11th. GPS had a nice gap down here and had a beautiful move and actually had two setups in it. And the first one was really, really fast. The stock open here from the night before was up here at 39.60 ish and opened the next morning down here at $37. The stock opened and tried to go higher. It couldn't do it. And I took the trade here and broke. I actually got out of this trade in two minutes. I actually took the, I was out in this bar. It's one of these things where you have a move like this that goes so hard, so fast, and the stock scaps down like this, you get out. Now, it did have a second setup, but here was the first move. 9.31, price was 36.99 as soon as it broke. Stop was over 37.15. Here's the risk to reward. It's 16 cents. So you're actually risking 16 cents. You're not risking the cost of the stock, you're risking the price of the stop. The stop was 16 cents. So it depends on your position sizing. On an advanced risk, $560 is 3,500 shares. Exit was down in two minutes. And 36.45 and 36.50 actually was the first target. Went right there. Total profits, 18.90. Risk to reward is 3.4 times the amount risk was made in profit. Turning 560 into 1890 in two minutes. So fast means fast. When I say fast, I mean sometimes these things go and work so quickly, you do have to get out of them immediately. And if they set up again, then you retake them. Now, as it turns out, GPS did set up again. So what did it do? It broke, rallied back, went over a little bit over the high of the day. This is okay. It really didn't go a lot over the high of the day. This is the bounce back from people taking the profits out from the short and people that were in it short in the pre post market. Came down again, had a couple different setups, and here you could have done it. This is a cleaner entry right here into the next reversal time, getting ready to go into 10 o'clock, which was 9.49. Price of this entry was when it broke again at 36.93. Stop is a little bit bigger now at 17 cents, and so it's over 37.10. Again, similar risk, 561 on 3,300 shares. Exit was 36.50. This touched on the number this next time and did not break the low. So you have to be out. Total profits 14.19. Risk to reward is 2.3 times the amount risk was made in profit. So, and you could take two trades in something, and all of a sudden you're up now basically almost six R's. So 3.4 hours in the one trade, two and a third in the second trade. Now you have two trades holding 33.09, and you're done. You're done in less than 30 minutes. First trade was over in two minutes, second trade was over in five minutes. And that's it, that's your day. Now, in order to get to this point, you did have to risk an advanced risk, and this is the kind of risk you need to risk to be able to get to making 20000 a month. But the buying power required for this isn't, isn't really that bad. This is actually very normal. These price points of these stocks, I've got good moves and things. Between even $5, I'd say in a, a $65 range, things can move and have really nice payouts and good stops, or they're not really big stops. All right, so let's go look at the next one. And if anyone has any questions, you can just feel free to write it in the room there, and I will answer your questions as I'm going through these gaps. And this was back, again, the last second week in October. LRN. He, once again, momentum, look. Stock broke. Everybody in here that is doing whatever they're doing that was bought the stock is now not up money anymore. Stock gaps down the night before it closed up here at $28.50. Gaps down here right above $21. What are you going to do? You, you, if you own the stock anywhere above $21, you were down money on the day, and there was a lot of people back here that were long the stock. And so also shorting came into this too. This has had a really nice break in here. Couldn't even retrace back 50% of the move. And this hit full on, full on immediately. Stock gap down huge. 28.50 up here, gap down here at 20.50, tried to go higher, couldn't try to go higher, couldn't tried and tried and tried and hit. Entries here and look at the momentum on this. And you may be out of this full move in here. This is still a terrific move, more than a buck, a dollar and a half. And all the way down to the low, it's an absolutely huge trade. It's more than two and a half dollars. 
All this is happening when? Right into the open, right in the morning before 10 o'clock. Trade is over by 10 o'clock. You see this here? Moving the stock in the day is over by 10 o'clock. See that? Entry time is 9.34, price is 21.13, stop is over 21.38, risk is 25 cents on 2,000 shares, it's a $500 risk. Exit is 17.40 if you get out at the low, which you may or may not have done, but even if you got out in the first target, it was a huge trade. Total profit 74.60, risk to reward is 14.92 times the amount risk you made in profit if you hold this to the dream target. Now, how would you have known that? Well, let's just say you take the trade here and it drops on down. You decide you're going to let it pivot. You let it pivot back here. The stock actually barely even rallies. You could lower the stop here. And this is how you get the whole thing then. And by this point now, you know it's going to, I mean, you're looking for 18. It actually broke 18 and then 1750 and then you just got to get out. But this is a huge trade. And do you see how here you can do one trade like this a month and it's not that far to get you to the $20,000 number? And just by risking $500. And again, you have this money in 20 minutes in the first move. So you do one trade like this a month, and then you chunk it out the rest of the month, and there you go. You have the 20000 And that covers actually some days where you won't even train, and maybe two days in the month you take a loss. These types of trades where you can make a lot of money really, really get you going where you need to be with the income level, plus the risk, plus being able to take some size. There actually was an ad in this I wanted to go over because it was a, a really good example where you were up so much money in the first trade. Depending on your personality, you might have said, I can't hold this anymore and taken it all out. But if you actually were up so much money that you said, gosh, I'm going to leave this go, you could have done an ad in this. The first initial trade was the entry time at 9.34. And I'll go back and show you in a minute. Price was 21.13. Stop was over 38. Again, 25 cents. You're taking your normal risk. There was an ad when it came back down. By this time, the stock's underway. The ad is 9.46, you had 2,000 shares. Now you have 4,000. You have actually cost average your price down. You had a price of 21.13. You added to the stock at 19. Your average price now is 20.06. Good news is what? You're gonna put the stop at 19.25. Your price is over the stop, even doubling your size. So worst case scenario, the stock price, this gets stopped out, you will still make $3,200. Worst case scenario, and this is, you know, this is still real money. And if you stay in the trade to the end and goes to the target, you end up making a, a beautiful move in this, really like two and a half bucks. Total profit on this trade is $10,640 with the ad. Risk to reward in this is 21.28. Why? Because you still only started out the day risking 500. You only started out the day with the original size of $500. So this is what I'm talking about with gaps when they move. And you can turn $500 into over $10,000 in 26 minutes if you know how to do this and can hit the button. I mean, I, I, I just, I'm amazed sometimes people have difficulty hitting the button. Although 4,000 shares is, is very normal for me size-wise. Some people just get, you know, they just can't even fathom the idea of taking 1,000 shares. If you want to trade and get these moves and make this kind of money and this kind of time, you have to learn how to do stuff well. And then after that, you're going to take size. You can't possibly take size unless you know what to do. But if you know what to do, you will take the size. Why? Because you're going to have conviction. I have so much conviction in what I do. I have conviction in gaps. I have conviction in my entries. I have conviction because I'm with the side of the power of money that is making the moves and I know what to do so I can hit it. How do you get to the point where you get conviction? You learn. Learning, 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 learning what to do, which has nothing to do with the money at all. And so you have to focus on learning. And if you can focus on learning, then you can get it down to be able to take the point where you can hit it and do it and not waver. The market feels people wavering in trades. And the market also feels people when they want to make money. And it decides to pay people who are willing to take the risk and willing to follow it on through to its natural move. Now, here was another one. Again, a really small price point stock. This is Aria. Did this a couple times in the last month. Aria gapped down here. This was back the second week of October. It had gapped down from the night before to close at 17. Opened the next day here, right under $6. It actually went all the way down in a $2 move. You had to get out. This was a dream target, too, for this, by the way. And ran all the way up. Now, look, this thing here 
had a $2 move from gapping down $11. Do you see why the idea of trading with the side of money is really the way to go? Because this gap didn't fill itself. This does not work. This is getting sold off and it is getting shorted too and no one wants this thing and it doesn't matter why but this is very important to understand intellectually what's going on here this is a bearish event this is a bearish event this is a bearish event so you're playing the event the event is the gap it is a professional gap it is an event that is made by professionals and you must qualify it not every gap works that's gaps down but there is a way to qualify them, which is what I do to make sure, oh, this is a good one. It really is going to work down. Okay. The idea of doing gap fills is just completely ridiculous because there's a problem when ever anything gaps down. And many, 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 many times you have to make sure that it's going to work. How do you do that? You rate it. You rate it and then you know if it rates over 20 points and it sets up, you do it. Stock set up here. Couldn't get a breath of life. Gap down $11. Look, there's one green bar here. There's one, one green bar in ARIA uh, within 45 minutes. No, it had one little doohickey in here. Look, it was almost like the stock actually just opened and got sold off as soon as it got opened. And this is incredible, incredible move. This is very bearish. This is very weak. Remember, you want a short weakness and you buy strength. And that's why even the idea of buying Google up $100 makes complete and utter sense. It's a strong stock, you buy it. Weak socks, you short. And here was the ARIA. So the trade was entry time 937, price is 562. Stop is over 576, risk is 14 cents. On an advanced risk, it's $560 and 4,000 shares. Exit, first exit, is $5. If you take the whole trade off there, you still make 2480. This is a great trade. And if you hold it to the dream target, it's $4. Total profit, $64.80. Risk reward is 11.57 times the amount risk made in profit. Again, way more than three R's per trade. And if you held this to the dream target, you made almost $7,000 in a half an hour. Once again, the idea of making $20,000 a month is completely within your reach. One trade like this, two trade like trades like this in a month, you're, you're there. You're doing it. I mean, you're, you're right there. So the idea is to qualify to determine the gap if it's really going to fall through in the weakness. You see the way it got sold off, but you got to have a way to qualify a post or pre-market before the actual trading day opens at 930 to make sure it's going to continue selling off and getting shorted on the day. You want to look and see if it's going to have a setup to continue the follow through. This did in the morning when it broke. And it is a bearish event. The idea of playing on weakness and playing on strength for people is challenging because sometimes people want to be tricky. They, everybody wants to get tricky. They want to try to figure out something. They think they're getting an edge doing something tricky like gap fills or playing against the trend or something like that. Honestly, the best way to trade is the most intellectual way to trade, the thing that makes the most sense, which is playing with the trend, playing weakness, and playing strength in the direction of each thing. I think you have to learn how to read weakness and how to read strength. There's many, many times I th see things gap, and they gap down, and I don't think it's weak enough, and then I don't short it. You've got to learn how to see what's really weak so you can take the trade and have conviction to do it, because not everything that gaps down is weak, just like not everything that gaps up is strong, okay? So any questions on these trades here? Any questions from anyone so far on any of the trades or anything I'm saying in general here? In today's world, more income really means more security. A lot of people are retiring later in life because they just can't afford to retire anymore early because, they, because they're living longer and they're not getting the same pension or their salary might have been reduced or the cost of living has increased. So people are retiring later and later in life and it's creating stress for people. They need to find a way to have some more security. So it's never too early to start planning ahead to save for retirement. Because it's fun and, and and if you can retire early. No one wants to work into their late 60s, early 70s. But in today's world, many people are having to go back to work and come out of retirement just to be able to afford to pay their expenses. So the idea of setting yourself up to be in a good financial position to be strong, even if it's 20, 30 years ahead of time, you know, makes sense. Again, it's a it's a sensible thing to do. How do you figure out the price target off the daily chart? Same thing as everything I do. If I had one chart to trade off of, if everybody took away all my charts, the daily chart, 
Everything you need is on there. Every single solitary thing you need is on there. Everything is on there. Uh, all I, I always am on the one. This is this is the one minute. This is the daily. This is the one minute. This is the daily. I my I trade off the one minute chart. There's times I'll do trades on the fifteen minute, like but that's like a later setup. I'm not doing a fifteen minute trade in the morning. One minute is a chart I trade off of in the morning. I get the confirmation. I take the trade. It moves. I get the good risk reward. Uh, you got to learn how to trade off this chart. But actually, it's my favorite chart too. But I'm saying if somebody threw me on an island and said, trade, Melissa, you only have one chart, I, I'd pick this one here. I could get everything I need off this. I'd get support. I'd get resistance. I could rate the gap. I could determine what's doing it and get my targets. I can get everything. It's really one of these things where you, you can get all the information off this. This is how I'm rating my gaps and get the points. This is how I'm figuring out my targets, my support, and my resistance, and even where I'm taking my entries. Now, I, I'm not in the stock. I'm not in the trade. I don't know the trigger or the set until it actually opens and trades, but I'm doing that in the one-minute chart. And do you see here, if you waited to do this in the five, you never got in. If you waited for this, you didn't get in. If you waited for this, you did not get in. So there's many, many times where it's, like I said, it's a panic. It's a forced action. There's people that own the stock. They got to get out. If they got to get out, they're going to get out as soon as they can. They're not going to wait till 1030, 11 o'clock in the morning to get out. If they get up in the morning, they see a stock they own is down. Why would they wait till 11 o'clock to get out? No, they have got to get out. And it's an emergency procedure. And that's what makes these things work so quickly, so fast. So, so crazy fast. ALTR was the one today that worked crazy fast. Absolute catastrophe. Pfft, falls off a planet. Nobody waits for anything. People got to get out. So you got to put a plan of action in place if you want to actually get to this point. You know, you got to start from somewhere. You have to start from somewhere. You have to have a plan of action. So how much to risk per trade to make $20,000 a month? Well, on average, to make $250,000 per year. As an annual income trading gaps, a normal risk unit of $500 is suggested. Once a trader is experienced with the system, you can learn to do ads to the original position. Doing ads helps you make more money with less risk. Why? Because you're lowering the stop when you do the ad. And then you're still taking more size. And then you could still make money like if that trade had stopped out in LRN, you still would have been up. It will also help you get good at holding the bigger targets, which it is sometimes really good to do. Now, not every trade goes to the bigger target, but these days when things go to the dream targets are the days you can really get paid as a trader, particularly if you're trading with size. A lot of people say, what do I, what do I mean by an R? What is an R? Well, I'm going to explain this. An R, one R is one risk unit. A risk unit is the amount of money you are risking per trade in dollars and cents. A risk unit should be sized according to the size of your cash balance in your account and your buying power. So, for example, if you risk 5% of the cash balance risk per day, this is per day, then you can divide that into five trades if you want to take five trades per day. So, if you want to take a 5% risk, you can divide that up into five trades per day, and then the R unit would be 5% of the cash balance divided by five. So, if you say, I'm going to risk $500 per day, you could divide that by five and risk $100 per trade. And that's a good uh, place to start. The goal is to make three risk units per trade. So if you are risking $100, your goal would be to make $300. Golden gaps provide setups that have a 3R payout. In other words, for every dollar you risk, you can make at least $3 on the low end and up to $10 or more on the high end if the stock goes to the dream target. A good risk to reward payout is one of the most significant reasons to learn the golden gap system, the system that I trade, that I created. Why? Because I'm very good with entries. I'm very good with entries. I know where the stops have to be for the stocks to go on to work. And so it is important when if you want to make money as a trader to get the entry right. How much to risk per trade to make up to $20,000 a month? Well, $500 as your R. And again, $500 means you will be looking for a 3R day minimum. So $1,500 on the low end. Five times, 500 times three is $1,500. Six R's in the mid range, which is a very solid day, would be 3,000 in the mid end. And a 10 R day would be $5,000 or more. This is a great day when you can make 10 R's or more. Anything like that is fantastic. And then you're looking to make 5,000 or more in the trade. This is on the high end. 
and, and gaps can work like this. In order to make $20,000 a month, really ideally your plan of action should be to make 40 hours a month. It basically comes out to 10 hours a week. And 10 hours a week is very realistic. It, it, you can either look at it as two hours a day or the way I look at it, which is try to get some big days in there. So, you know, whatever you want to do, two hours a day, three hours a day is, is even uh, three days is would total nine. And that means two days that you, maybe one day you take a loss, one day, day you don't do anything, or one day you have a medium day or, or a bigger than three hour day. So for example, three three hour trades a week is nine hours per week. That is 36 hours per month. This is almost 20,000 a month, but this is still a great amount of money to make. 36 hours per month with a risk unit of $500 per trade comes out to about 4,500 a week. This is $18,000 a month. I think a lot of people could live on $18,000 a month. Some people can't, <laughs> depending on if they live in a very high income town. But, you know, this is a very good income to do, to work from home for yourself with a com nothing but a computer and the right knowledge to be able to take trades and trade like this. $18,000 per month is almost $20,000 per, per um, month. And some trades will be more than three hours. I mean, just some trades will, as in general, will end up going to four, five, six, seven, eight hours. So once you become skilled at trading gaps and rating gaps, you can increase your risk accordingly. If you want to make 200 to 250,000 per year as an annual income, trading gaps is a normal risk unit of $500 per trade is suggested. And once a trader is making over $250,000 a year, honestly, the sky's the limit. Once you reach this level, you have a lot of future income potential. You could trade for yourself or for other people as well. Traders who make money have unlimited opportunities available to them. People will give you their money to trade if they know you are successful. And then you'll have more money to trade so you can make more. So how do you achieve the income you dream of? You know, is, is it a fantasy thing? The answer is no. It is absolutely not a fantasy. You have to have a plan of action. You have to learn what to do. You have to have the proper knowledge to be able to take the trades. You got to have conviction, which is through the learning process, to get to the point of risking $500 per trade. And that's where the plan of action comes into place, except for you got to do it and it can be done. So ask yourself, what are your dreams? For me personally, I want to be able to buy an absolutely gorgeous penthouse in Manhattan. And, and I'm working towards that. Everybody has a different dream. Some people don't even care that much about money or living a lavish lifestyle. Some people just want to only work for half an hour a day. I don't know what your dreams are. I do think you got to figure it out. You have to ask yourself what your dreams are. I know what my dreams are. I am making them happen. If you don't know what your dreams are, you got to write it down, figure it out, put it in your journal, write it on a piece of paper, write it on the sheet. And if you don't have any dreams, then by golly, get some. Get some. Finding golden gaps is discretionary or through an automated system. It's not discretionary. There's points. I teach you the points. You follow the point system. You go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You go through the points. I don't have it automated. No, that's why I teach you in the class. You have to do it, you know, using your head. You go through each point and you look at the daily chart. I don't have it in a black box or something like that, if that's what you mean, Dan. Expand your horizons. Get to the point where you actually expand your horizons to start dreaming. Dreaming big about your goals. It may take you time to get there, but you got to start from somewhere. What is the plan of action in place for beginners if you're brand, brand new, never traded in your life, never did gaps, don't know where to start? Number one, you take the Golden Gap course. You Then you learn how to rate gaps, and you practice taking the entries trading on demo for a week. That's step two. Then you trade a live account with small size, risking $50 a trade for about a month. Then you trade a live account with medium size for a $100 risk for about one to three months. And again, this is up to you. I mean, if you're a really quick learner, you're doing really well, it could take less than that. And then you gain live experience. Then you trade a live account and you increase your size after one to three months to $150 to $200. I'd say for about three to nine months because that is still a good risk amount. And you want to gain experience trading gaps in that time. And then after that, within a year, you are trading a live account with an advanced risk unit, which could be anywhere from 300 to 500 per trade, and you trade the market every day you can. I, I, I trade the market every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If I don't get a good gap, I don't trade, but I am, I'm 
market participant. I am participating in the market every day as a live trader. I read the market. I see what's going on. I understand the stocks. I see the movements. I understand the gaps. I see the entries. I see the setups. It's like anything else. It's like riding a bike. How do you get good at something? Practice, 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 doing it, doing it, making money, going through the motions, seeing them. You got to be in it. You got to want it. You got to be passionate about it. And, and, you know, even if you're not passionate about trading, if you're passionate about making money, you may become passionate about trading. So you have to start somewhere. You have to make $3,000 a month before you can make $6,000 a month. You have to make $6,000 per month before you can make $10,000 per month. You have to make $10,000 per month before you can make $15,000 a month. And you have to make $15,000 a month before you can ever think about making twenty, dollars and so on and so forth. Once you are averaging $20,000 a month, then your goal is to just build your base, meaning your base in your actual trading accounts, so you can start to take more size and more risk. The goal is then to just earn more to raise the capital balance in your account. So you can have more buying power to increase your size to make more money, okay? And this is where you can get to be at one point after you start getting going and are experienced. The most important thing is to focus on the right information. You know, you, you can take trades all day long, but if you don't get the direction right, you're not going to make money. In fact, you'll lose. How do you get the direction right? I'm reading the gap. I'm playing the gap in the direction of the gap, and I'm rating it to make sure it's going to work because not every gap works. So it's about focusing on the price, the price of the gaps and what they're doing. The right information to focus on in charts is price. Gaps show you price on an advanced level. I mean, this is advanced, but it can be learned. It's a, it's a skill. It's a learned skill. So they show you price on an advanced level, which allows a trader to predict the move the stock will make before it does it. How do I know Juniper is going to gap down? How do I know LTR is going to be right on the day? How do I know? How can I see it? I'm rating the gap. The most valuable information for people to trade can be found in reading price action and gaps. Understanding chart reading of gaps and how important the patterns of price are in the market will assist you in being profitable. Trading gaps is a high paying strategy because gaps are created by institutional money. Knowing this helps you give you conviction to trade and then take the risk you need to make profits. So you've got to learn how to see gaps clearly and then how they are creating the trends, changing the trends and making momentum. Trading gaps is a very powerful strategy, and this is how professionals trade. I mean, this is how professionals trade. And even if you're doing this from your home part-time, you have to think like a professional. You can use this sophisticated level of price information, which is in gaps, to enter trades and take sizable positions. And taking sizable positions will help you attain the income level you dream of. It will. Reading gaps is a skill. It's a skill you can learn, and I am teaching people to do it. I'm teaching people to do it in a class. The class is this weekend, October 26th and 27th, and it is called the Golden Gap Course. This is my system. This is my. This is basically my trading plan that I'm teaching people. The Golden Gap Course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The best stock to trade each day, and some days there's a couple. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day, which is very important so you can make money, because how do you make money? On the play. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. And the course teaches a more proficient way to read support and resistance in the right direction. The course teaches you to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner. So you can become a good trader because ultimately your goal should be, I want to become a good trader, not I want to make a million dollars right away. Because if you become a good trader, guess what? You will have the potential to make millions of dollars. There's so many people that want to trade and don't focus on the right stuff. If you want to be good, if you want to make a lot of money, then you have to get good at actual trading, reading the charts, understanding the charts, analyzing the gaps, getting the entries right, reading the price, getting the direction right, getting your picks. So once you do that, if you really, really just focus on what's going on in the chart with the candlesticks and the price action, you will make money. The money will come. Okay? It's easy to make money in the market once you know what to do. It is challenging when you do not know what to do. So you've got to learn. And the 26-point checklist I use really tells you what to look for. This is what tells me what to do. If I didn't have this, I probably wouldn't be trading, to be honest with you. I, I wouldn't be trading. I would. There's so many gaps every day, I'd never know what to do or look for. It'd just be a big headache, like it was when I started out. So I just decided to take my time and, you know, just figure it out. And, and I did. And, and I'm so, so glad I have this now. This takes a lot of stress off me. It takes a lot of burden off me. I know exactly what to look for. This is what I follow. This is my trading plan. This is my system. This is it. If I get a gap that rates over 20 points, I watch it. 
If I don't get a gap that rates over 20 points, I don't do it. I just flat out don't do it. It's as easy peasy as that. And, and this puts me in the right direction. If you want to be successful at trading, you must be focused. This helps me get focused. This tells me what to watch. This keeps my head on straight. When the market opens, I got to take my trades. And if you don't have a way to be focused, if you don't have a system, an exact thing that you are doing to tell you what to watch, then how do you know what to do? So learn how to make up to $20,000 a month working a half an hour a day from home. This is really, really, honestly, 100% uh, possible for people. You just got to learn how to trade. Your time is valuable. If you can work for half an hour a day or an hour a day and make this kind of money, it's, it's a great thing. It's a great lifestyle. Yeah, it's a good lifestyle for me right now. I trade in the morning, I'm done. If I do a webinar or work in the afternoon for an hour, that's it. Day trading is about consistently booking money for income. Go to the piggy bank, take it out of the market, put it back in. You just want to book it, and you want to book it, and you want to book it. And here's a picture of me. I just thought I'd put this in the webinar. I'm a trader. A lot of people ask me, yes, I teach the class. I teach the class in the weekends, so it doesn't interfere with my trading, but I am a trader. I trade the market. I trade the market every day. I've been trading the market since the end of 2008. I can't ever imagine my life without the market. So and I almost forget what my life was like before the market. I don't remember anymore because I've been in the market for so long. And it's just one of these things where, you know, if you uh, get into the market and you love what you're doing and you start making money, you'll just never look back. So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade all the pieces of the puzzle, the rating system, the entries, reading support, reading resistance, getting the targets right, understanding where to put the stop and how to position size yourself so you can make sure that you take the right risk. The class is called the Golden Gap course. And it is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. I don't charge people to retake it. There's no max time frame. You can retake the class as many times as you need to. I want people to get the information. I am here to go over questions for people. I want people to be successful. It, my goal is the same as your goal. So our goals are aligned. It helps me grow my business if I make successful traders. I want people to be successful. I'm encouraging them and teaching them to do so, and I'm teaching them quality information for a very good price. Uh, because this, for the high level advanced information I teach in the class, which it is advanced, it is a really good price point. The class is online, so you can be anywhere in the world and take it. It is this week in October 26th and 27th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $24.99. If you're interested and want to sign up, you must email me and I will send you the sign-up packet at melissa at thestockswish.com. And I'll put it in here. Dan, I do have a live trading room. It is open to, um, oops, that went up there. Hold on. Copy and paste this. It is open to join for students only. Students have taken the GAT class. You can, you can check out the room, but I don't let people join the room unless they do the GAT class because I actually do a lot of teaching in the room. I do a lot of teaching in the room after I'm done trading, which is usually early, then I teach in the room. Uh, and you can join the room as a Golden GAT class student actually for a discount of 25% off for the entire year if you want to join annually. And a lot of people are doing that now, getting into the end of this year for 2014. Then you're in the room for the whole year, trading with me. And, and you know, 2014 is going to be a big year. You've got to start making real money in the market. And if you're not, then take a step back. Don't, don't fall off a cliff. Regroup yourself. If you're doing something that doesn't work and if it's Forex or something, anything else you're doing, take a break. Okay, think about if what you're doing is a strategy that's actually something that works. You got to start making real money in the market if you're doing this. You got to take a leap into the market and into your future and take a chance. The market pays people who are willing to take risk. The market does not pay people who are not willing to take risk. I have a lot of people that come to me. They want this. They want this. They want that. They want a million things from me. What is it they want proof? Proof it works. Uh, they want to be in the room for a certain time. They want to know every trade I did for the last six months. If anyone would have given me proof of anything in the market, the market would have never allowed me to get this level of information. The only way you make money in the market is if you're willing to take risk. And people that want proof will never get paid by the market. It's just the nature of the market. It's like the law of the universe. It's like the law of the market.
You got to be willing to take risk. And part of that risk is even taking a class without exactly knowing what the information is until you take it. You want to trade the market, you take a trade, you take a risk, you put on the trade, you don't know exactly what's going to work, but you have conviction, you did your process, you followed the system, you rated the gap, it rates over 24 points, you take the entry, you do it. The market is a place that pays risk takers. That is why I am successful. I really am at heart at my true, true core a risk taker. Anyone that knows me, I used to have an acronym in a lot of rooms. It was she who dares wins. That is me. And it couldn't describe me better. <laughs> and, and now I'm taking risk in front of people trading live. And that and I, and I, at an advanced level too. <laughs> so, I mean, I am a risk taker and the market is really rewarding me. 2014 is going to be a big year. It's going to be a big year for me. If you want it to be a big year for you, consider learning how to trade gaps. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Uh, does anyone have any questions before we go over and look at the earnings? It's not quite four o'clock yet. Does anyone have any questions here before we look at the, I look at some of the reports tonight? You can ask me now. So what we're going to do is, and if you're interested in the class, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. The deadline to sign up for the class is 5 p.m. October 25th, which is Friday, if you want to sign up. Can I repeat what, Justin? The deadline, the deadline is October 25th, which is Friday at 5 p.m. The room, if you want to sign up for the room for an annual membership, the discount is 25% off the room price. The room is $200 a month. It's $2,400 a year. If you want to sign up for the room, you can sign up for the room and save $600. It's $1,800 for the uh, for the year for the room. 